everyone, Miss Tui here. In today's lesson, Ozobot is going to help you identify and understand the place value of three digit numbers. In today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, a pencil, and your what's my value activity sheets. Make sure you have both pages. In today's lesson, you will use a number randomizer and color codes to find the hundreds, tens, and ones place in a three-digit number. Then you will write out that number to show its value. As you begin to work with larger numbers in math, you will see that place value is important. Place value tells you that each digit in a number has a place and a different value. In a three-digit number, the place of a number can be the hundreds, tens, or ones. Let's look at the number 835. The eight is in the hundreds place, the three is in the tens place, and the five is in the ones place. The place a number is in tells you how much the number is worth or its value. Since the eight is in the hundreds place, its value is 800. Since the three is in the tens place, its value is 30. Since the five is in the ones place, its value is five. Before the fun can begin, you need to complete the pathways on the what's my value map. On the map, you will see that there are three possible pathways for your Ozobot to follow. It will randomly choose a place value, ones, tens, or hundreds. You will also see that the pathways are missing color codes. You will use the color code key to choose and color sequences of three or four colors. I'll choose Tornado, Zigzag, Turbo, and Snail to complete my pathways on my map. It's your turn to code. Choose your color codes and use your color code markers to draw the color sequences in the empty boxes to complete each pathway. Each pathway should have a different color code. Can you add color codes on your paper? Let's see how Ozobot chooses a place value randomly using lines and color codes on the map. Watch my bot in action. First, I'll put my Ozobot on start and watch it move to choose a random place value, ones, tens, or hundreds. My bot chose the hundreds place. I wonder what place value your Ozobot will choose. Can you put your Ozobot on start and watch it choose a place value? Your bot may choose a different place value than mine. Now that Ozobot has given you a place value, it is time to find that place in a three digit number. On your What's My Value page, you'll find a list of three digit numbers. You will begin with the first number, 493. Since my bot chose the hundreds place, I am going to find the hundreds place in the number 493 and underline it. I underlined the number four. Can you find and underline the place value your bot gave you in the number 493? If your bot chose a different place value than mine, you will not underline the four.
Great job finding the place value your bot gave you. Now that you have found the place in a three digit number, you are going to write to show its value. My bot chose the hundreds place, so I underlined the four in the number 493. Since four is in the hundreds place, its value is 400. I will write this in the column next to the number 493. What is the value of the number you underline? Can you write this value on your paper? You are on your way to becoming a place value pro, identifying the place of a number and writing its value. To complete this lesson, keep practicing until you have found and shown place value for all eight numbers. You heard that right. You will get to run your bot seven more times. Place your bot back on start and watch it move to choose a random place value, ones, tens, or hundreds. Since the bot is choosing randomly, it can choose the same place value as before. Can you try seven more times to complete the lesson? Put your bot back on start and watch it choose a place value. Your bot may choose the same place value as before or a new one. Before you turn in your work, don't forget to check that your map has four color codes to complete the pathways, a place underlined in each number, and the value of each number written out. Your work should also show how the Ozobot follows lines and color codes to randomly choose a place value. If you're looking for more, explore an important part of computer science, data, using place values your bot chose. What place value did your bot move to the most? Which place value did your bot move to the least? Did your bot repeat choosing any place values? Nice work today. Come back again soon for our next lesson.